Hello. <laughs> anything yes i want to say a lot because i'm really <laughs> happy to see you again because uh, uh my, my, it's my friend here i touch the head yes like this <laughs> and i touch the, like this voilà. okay we're having galettes what are you putting in it lentils tomato sauce tomatoes eggplants hummus nutritional yeast and and there is something really important, Katie. What? Yeah, there is love in this game. In the gallet? Oh. French love. French love. <laughs> and then it's... And we can show you the French kiss. Oh, oh God. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> right, this is how you do it. You fold it like that. It's an uh, ice cream. Yep. And you know that in in France, uh, French woman used to to use it like a nice cream <laughs> <laughs> on the skin. God. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay, and we can even eat some of um, some of that on top like that. Wow. <laughs> Saying goodbye. Bye. Yes. Um, no, I stay. <laughs> yeah, Ben. Ben is staying, no, no, but Andrea is going please. all the way back to please go, go. Canada. Go. <laughs> See you guys. See you guys. Oh, okay, on se barre. Merci. Bye bye. Allez. Bye. A plus tard. Guys, we're obsessed with watching the story from Solomon running to see how everyone does at the Marathon de Mont Blanc. Right now, Lucy is running. Lots of Sullivan people, they're doing really well. And Lucy, who was in like third place not too long ago, she is gonna be on our live show in a few weeks, so you guys need to check that out. So now we are headed back to the endurance shop to get Gwen a new pair of hokas. Yeah, so what happened is when we arrived in France, I switched to Altras, which I used to run in Altras, except that this time the switch got a pain that I had before back. Uh, it's basically uh, on the inside of my ankle. The reason is that my arch tends to collapse and... I mean, you have flat feet. Yeah, so with Altra, like there is no support and I'm fine if I don't do many, like a lot of miles, I'm fine. But as soon as I do too many miles, it gets really painful. The pain starts in my ankle, but also like in my knees, just because, yes, because the arch collapse, then the, there is a tendon that is connected to the calf just is like stretched out, become inflamed. That's what's happening right now. I got inflammation a few days ago while running. So I did many, many miles. I did several weeks over 100 miles in the Hokas and I didn't have that problem. Even though I don't like the Hokas because they are too narrow, but the narrow problem is not as bad as the actual problem inflammation in, uh, in my ankle. You know, of course, now looking back after he's researched it, we kind of figured out, crap, it's probably from wearing Hokas for like four months and then switching back to ultras now and running a lot right before the race. And because of his lack of arch, it's just causing like pronation and putting a lot of stress on this tendon. He looked it up and it, it, it looks like it's good because we finally figured out probably for sure what's going on with his ankle so we can try to address the problem. But it looks like the only thing to cure this is rest and let the tendon heal back and then like doing exercises to keep it going and to be wearing shoes that have arch support. You can, you can do exercises to basically, uh, basically treat the cause 
but right now the symptoms are here before to treat the cause you need to remove the symptoms so we need to remove the inflammation right now the inflammation is due to the lack of support in my shoes and so, so right now it, we don't have time to actually address the cause even though we you know like that's something I, I'm gonna have to work a lot but right now we need the temporary solution so that's what we're gonna do yeah so the temporary solution is go and get a pair of hokas don't want to do this but if Gwen wants to run we think it's the only way it is what it is what's your strategy what are you gonna do uh, I'm probably gonna get like only three hours of running in the week of the race you know my training it was it's done and has been done for you know the last uh, three weeks I was already done with my training I already did what I was supposed to do and now leading up to it to to the race is about recovering and making sure that I'm not tired from my training because if I get tired from my training now it's not gonna be beneficial the benefit from the training now is you know, if right. I would train now I would only get the benefit after the race so now it's not time to get the benefit from the training now it's time to rest time to recover get ready because there is no nothing I can do for this race now um, so yep lots of ginger and turmeric and rest hopefully the hope are with the arch support are gonna allow Gwen to run during this race and perform at his best. All right, let's go see what they got. There they are. Bad news, guys. They don't have the Hoka Speed Goat anymore because the new one's coming out. So we're gonna try one at last running store in town to see if they have the Speed Goat. This whole area is really French, you guys. We're looking for things that are like super typical French. And this is it. All right, guys, they have it. But do they have his size? We'll find out. All right, so we feel good? Yeah. Well guys, we got them. We got it, so now I have no excuses. No excuses. It. Yeah, because it will be like too many people. So you just do that and then you drink. Okay. But we can do it. So we're at a family gathering with Gwen's family and we're drinking champagne. Qu'est-ce que tu fais? Bonjour. 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 Hello. Hello. <laughs> Big crepe pan. Wow. Okay. It's crepe time. Yes. They're gonna be really good. p.m. you guys and they're just now eating dessert this is crazy and it's super light out this is like so typical of being here in Europe people eating dinner we didn't start even eating dinner till like 9 8 30 or 9 you know and it's taking forever because you make one gala at a time and everyone eats kind of individually but we're all sitting there so it takes like an hour and a half to eat and now we're just eating dessert and it's crazy it's so cool it's funny but Gwen and I are starting to get really tired and want to go to bed. Oh, we never go out, but this is pretty cool to experience France in like really like the tradition. We're here at Gwen's grandmother's house and she passed away last year. So Gwen's aunt is organizing a family tradition that the grandmother was carrying on. But now that she's gone, Gwen's aunt is taking over. And basically she is making kind of like a mini family reunion every now and then and inviting everyone and then making these galettes, which are like crepes, but they're made with buckwheat flour and water and that's it. It, so they're vegan and then we put veggies in them so she's making them for everyone and like keeping the tradition alive so it's really really cool it's a blast so we're having fun but man we're tired okay. goodbye so please follow us 
us on uh, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Le Bon Coin, Dunkerque, and uh, okay. And okay. <laughs> wow, this car is kind of jumpy. C'est une essence aussi, non? Ouais. Au départ, moi, je faisais pareil.